What is up guys, it's Caleb from Meta Jungle, and today I'm here to talk about the new interface of blockpacks.com and how useful it can be when collecting BPX or blockpacks assets, especially something like home team heroes. So let's go ahead, let's jump right into this and see what we can learn. Now, I've briefly talked a little bit about this when doing my Block Packs Marketplace video about how you can easily buy and sell Home Team Heroes on the Marketplace. But there is more here than just the Home Team Heroes Marketplaces. Here we are on the home page, and let's start by heading over to the top right. Here I can see how much BPX I have in my account, and if I click on this button, I see my wallet balance, which lists the BPX reward miles that I have in my BPX account. And it also shows that I have a bunch of pending auction credit that I have as a result of a recent promotion that, the, that Block Packs had. I also have the option to deposit and withdraw BPX so that I can move it in and out of self custody. Right now I need to deposit some BPX and I can see after collecting my wallet that I have over 6500 BPX in self custody in my wallet. But I need some more in my BPX account so I can use the Block Packs Marketplace. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool to deposit some into my account. And just like that, I'm reloaded with some BPX. Let's now check out my account by clicking my username. Here I can see all of the home team heroes I have in my Block Packs account. Now this isn't showing the heroes that I have in self custody in my wallet. And eventually I'm gonna transfer those over here so that I can more easily list them on the Block Packs Marketplace. I can also click on the activity tab over here to see all of the activity that my account has had. All right, now let's go back to the home page and see what all is here. At the top, we have live drops, and it gives me a link to where I can buy and rip 2023 Home Team Heroes baseball packs right now. If I click on this button, it will take me to collecthth.com, where I can buy Home Team Heroes unopened packs directly from Block Packs. Now, going back to the Block Packs homepage, I can scroll down and see the upcoming drops, with Home Team Heroes football dropping here in a few days and basketball dropping later this winter. Then we have the marketplaces, which we dove into in my last video, so definitely go and check that out if you haven't already. But those really are the draw here, and they make collecting super easy. Then, moving down to the bottom, we have some really cool stuff to help you in your collecting. Of course, you have the notable sales over here to the left, where you can see all of these awesome color pops that have recently brought high prices on the marketplace. But on the right, we have some awesome resources for us. Let's start by clicking on the first one, which is the Home Team Heroes Collector's Guide. This guide is going to give us a great overview of the first Home Team Heroes baseball series, simply explaining the premise and how it works, and also gives a complete list of the hero roster and the players that the heroes are inspired by. We can also click over here to learn more about the all-important point system that allows you to earn BPX reward miles for collecting heroes. This will tell you how many points you can earn from collecting base set heroes, and how you can multiply your points by collecting sets and rainbows. And then it will also tell you how many points you can earn from those valuable color pops, which have kind of a fantasy sports dynamic built into earned points. You can see here that when the inspiring player or of the hero completes feats in real life, that earns your color pop more points. Those points will propel you up the leaderboards and increase the BPX rewards that you get at the end of the season. Now we will go back to the resources section of the homepage and we'll click our next link which shows us the color pop points updates. This is an updated leaderboard of the points that each color pop has earned so far this season. Here we can see that Matata, who is inspired by Ronald Acuna Jr. is leading the pack, but he's closely followed by the Shohei Otani inspired Showtime. We also see that there is a status column that will tell us whether the inspiring player is currently playing or not, such as with this Mike Trout inspired war god, who isn't currently earning any points because Mike Trout is on the injured list. Overall, this is a great list to find out which color pops are the most valuable as the season goes on. Now, the next resource on this list is a link 
that will take us back to the scoring information that we already looked at. So we're going to go ahead and skip it and we'll go to our next link that takes us to the home team heroes leaderboards. Here we can see who has the most points among home team heroes collectors. And if you click this icon over to the left, you can enter your own wallet address. And if you go back to the leaderboard and click your rank, it will show where you rank on the leaderboard. Again, the higher that you get on the leaderboards, the more BPX reward miles you will earn at the end of the season. On this page, you can also click on rainbows and it will show you the rainbow tool that can help you see what heroes you need to collect to build rainbows and multiply your points. And then we have the set builder tool next to it up here, and that can help you do the same thing with sets. Although it's to be noted that this will only show you the heroes that you have in self custody and not the ones that you have in your BPX account. So just a heads up on that. Now, finally, going back to the resources, our last one here is a link that will take you to a link that tells you all that you need to know about BPX auctions, where you can use the BPX that you earn by collecting to bid on block packs vault tokens that you can then redeem for in real life collectibles that will be shipped by block packs to you. I've done a couple of videos about BPX auctions, so definitely make sure to go and check those out if you haven't already. But as we can see, there's just so much here on blockpacks.com to help you get started with collecting some awesome collectibles and some really sweet tools to help us get the maximum value out of our collections. So definitely make sure to go and check it out for yourself. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to follow both me and Meta Jungle on X and go and hop in the Meta Jungle Discord server. Also, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and just keep coming back here for more awesome videos. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>